For today's video, we are going to talk about how to divide rational algebraic expression. So when we say dividing rational algebraic expression, it is the quotient of the rational expression is the product of the dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor. So in short, whenever we divide rational algebraic expression, we simply multiply numerator to denominator and denominator to numerator. So in symbol, we have a over b divided by c over d, that is ad over bc, that is a times d over b times c, where b, c, and d is not equal to zero. So let's start and let's have an example. On number one, we have 81xz squared over 36y divided by 27x squared z squared over 36xy. So whenever we divide rational algebraic expression, we simply multiply numerator to denominator and denominator to numerator. So let's multiply 81xz squared times 36xy over 36y times 27x squared z squared. Now, what are the coefficients that can be written in simplest form? And what are the variables that can be written in simplest form? So we have 36. So 36 and 36 can be cancelled. Then, z square. Also, 27 and 81. The greatest common factor of 27 and 81 is 27. So 27 becomes 1 and 81 becomes 3. So let us write our answer. So we have here 3, then x times x, y over y times x square. Then to write our answer, let us cancel y. And then let's multiply 3x times x. 3x times x is 3x square over x square. And then let us cancel x square. So the final answer is 3. What about number 2? We have 2a plus 2b over a square plus ab divided by 4 over a. So let's have 2a plus 2b times a over a square plus ab times 4. So as you can see, we have 2a plus 2b. Let us find the factors of 2a plus 2b. That is 2. Then 2a divided by 2 is a plus 2b divided by 2 is b times a over a square plus ab. The greatest common factor of a square plus ab is a. a square divided by a, that is a, plus ab divided by a, that is b, times 4. So let us cancel a plus b and a. So therefore, we have 2 over 4. So 2 over 4, that is 1 half. So this will be our final answer. So let's have another example. On number 3, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over x squared plus 4x plus 3 divided by x squared minus 1 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. So before we multiply numerator to denominator and denominator to numerator, let us find the factors of the numerator and denominator. First, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. So as you can see, the value of a is 1. So we can easily find the factors of this expression. 
the factors of x square is x and x. Then, what are the two numbers? If you multiply, you get 1, and if you add, you get 2. That is positive 1 and positive 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, and the 1 times 1 is 1. These are the factors of x squared plus 2x plus 1. What about x squared plus 4x plus 3? The factors of x squared is x and x. Then two numbers, if you multiply, you get 3. If you add, you get 4. That is positive 3 and positive 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 times 1 is 3. So this will be the factor. What about x squared minus 1? So we have here factors of x squared is x and x. Two numbers, if you multiply, you get negative 1. If you add, you get 0. That is positive 1, negative, or negative 1 rather. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. So this will be the factor. So let us substitute this factor to simplify our given equation. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1, that is x plus 1 times x plus 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 3, that is x plus 3 times x plus 1 divide by x squared minus 1, that is x plus 1 times x minus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 1, that is x plus 1 times x plus 1. Now let us cancel x plus 1. So we're going to have x plus 1 over x plus 3 divided by x minus 1 over x plus 1. Now, let us multiply numerator to denominator and denominator to numerator. So we have x plus 1 times x plus 1 over x plus 3 times x minus 1. So to simplify our answer, let us multiply each binomial. So x plus 1 times x plus 1, that is x squared plus 2x plus 1. x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So therefore, our final answer is x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x squared. Negative 1, x plus 3x is 2x minus 3. So this will be our final answer.